Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on interview related placement question series and this is about is valid parenthesis. So this is very famous question. So you will be given a string S1 would be something like maybe uh, like this, like this and like this. So this is a string. They will ask is this valid? So the point is you should cancel out your opening and closing bracket. You can cancel this with this, this with this, this with this. So if every opening can be closed, then it's a valid string. So this is true case. Let me just quickly show you a false case. So if this is the string, so this is different bracket altogether. So this is like, you know, right? This is like round bracket and this is like rectangular bracket. And if you are opening a rectangular bracket, then you should close this with rectangular but you're closing this with the round bracket so this is like a false case and is this a valid string yes it is because this is cancel out with this one this is cancel out with this one this with this and this guy with this guy so you know like how parenthesis works like we have done so much of mathematics right so this is the situation so now I think you understand the problem. So let me tell you, if you have a little bit of experience with the parenthesis solving problems in programming, then the first data structure comes in your mind is like stack. So let's quickly see how we'll solve this. And instead of this, let me just uh, increase the complexity a little bit like this. Okay, so this is your string now, not this. So we have new S1, we'll, we'll try to find out whether this is true or false, okay? So the data structure which is going to be a very handy data structure is a stack here, okay? And let's say this is your zeroth location, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is like this because this is a string and you will simply push this first and then you'll go ahead and try to push this but the moment you are pushing this into this, you will check, is this a closing bracket? And whatever is there already in the stack on the top is opening bracket of same type. Meaning if stack was holding this, let me just give you an example. If stack was holding this and let's suppose you was at this location, then that condition is true. You are actually at closing bracket and in stack, you have opening bracket of same type. If that is the case, then you will pop this and you will not push this into the stack. Otherwise, it's very simple case as we'll do with this. This is not that particular case. So we'll just simply push this bracket also inside this. We'll go to second position. We'll see, is this closing bracket? Yes, it is closing bracket and stacks top is the opening bracket of same type okay so we'll just pop this and go ahead now we're pointing this guy and we'll see is this closing bracket yes it is and stack top is now pointing to this because this was popped out right so now we are pointing at this we'll check is this opening bracket of same type yes it is then we'll pop this guy also now your stack is empty and we'll go ahead with this we'll see is this Closing bracket, no it is not. We'll just simply push this and then we'll go ahead. Is this closing bracket? Yes. And stack top is opening bracket of same type? Yes it is. We'll just simply pop it and we'll try to go ahead but there is no character. Our loop will break and in the end you will check the size of this stack should be equal to zero. If that's the case, then it is true. Otherwise it is false. Let's quickly see the programming implementation for this. So this is your function. We have string passed inside this. We'll create a stack and loop over a for loop with the length of this strings dot length and it will start with zero. This is very simple. See, first case is initially your temporary meaning this stack is actually empty. If that is the case, you just put the first parenthesis inside that and you just don't do anything you just go back because you don't have to do anything because your stack was empty itself and then 
you increment your i you go to another one so before you was standing here and this first which is zero no, sorry not this we are dealing with this right so this is zero so this went inside your stack and next you are pointing this guy similarly you will hit this now see this is very important point here if stacks top is equal to equal to this and my current pointer what i am pointing at is like this character right is the closing one so we have three different possibilities and we'll check for all of them so it's like is my temps top is equal to this and if that is true then am i pointing at this if that is true then we'll just pop the stack right that's what i was doing here and we'll not do anything we'll just go back and increment i and go for another character correct and if neither of these conditions are true then we will just push that into the stack so this stamp is a stack <laughs> excuse me for putting this very bad name here because we should keep name consistent okay so i can say that stack or something but excuse me for that now once you are done with this loop meaning what you have finished traversing till the end of the character if you are done with this loop then you'll just simply check if my stacks dot size is equal to equal to zero then this expression itself will return true if this is not zero then it will return false then you know the answer so let's go and run this this is lead code solution and i can just simply submit this i have already submitted so many time once in 2020 also and i was trying to find out a different possible solutions so all of them are working so yeah we can see this solution is also working so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos